want to talk a little bit about this King of the Ring and kind of get everyone's thoughts. Everyone in the chat and everyone watching, I'd love for you to put in the comments your thoughts on the King of the Ring and the Queen of the Ring. Uh, Justin, you mentioned that there's going to be some of these matches on house shows. Uh, do you like that they're doing these on house shows? But also, we look at the people left in the men's tournament, Jay Uso, Kofi Kingston, Rey Mysterio, Dragunov, Gunther, Carmelo Hayes, LA Knight, Santos Escobar, and then some other names not yet announced. Uh, and then the women's is Zoe Stark, Shayna Baszler, Zelina Vega, Lyra Valkyria, EO Sky, and then those yet to be named as well. Thoughts on all of this? I mean, free reign, king of the ring, queen of the ring. What are your thoughts? I'm fine with them taking a few matches and putting them in the live events, especially if those matches on the live events with those participants are probably not going to be the participants to make it all the way to the finals. But it at least takes a match that has some gravity, has some stakes. Excuse me. And it, it, maybe it elevates and sells a few extra hundred tickets to that live event. Again, film it so we can at least see a few clips. But I'm fine with that, especially because I, I and I saw on social media there were some there were some people that were, that were mad of like, oh wow, you cut these two matches and I got the CM Punk promo or I got this pick something else that was unrelated to the King of the Tournament. It's like, well, especially with the King the especially with the um, Punk promo, it's like, all right, look, Punk and Drew is probably what's going to headline and draw the gate for a PLE here in June in Scotland. So I understand if they want to devote ten minutes of TV time to that versus these two King of the Ring quali- or Queen of the Ring matches that are, you know. So I'm fine with it. Um, again, just just, just, just don't be throwaway. Film them, do something, whatever. Uh, in terms of King of the Ring and Queen of the Ring in general, we don't even know the SmackDown side of the bracket, so I'm not even going to try to make a prediction, but I'll say this. On the men's side, I absolutely think that we're going to see Gunther and, and Dragunov come into contact with each other. I think that's going to be the match that's going to decide who goes to the finals representing the Raw side of the bracket. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's on the SmackDown because that's why I I don't know who they're going to present there. So we'll we'll see. Tune in Friday, right? Women's side, uh, I could see them putting Lyra Lyra Valkyrie and giving her a push here to kind of establish her uh, up and coming. So I could see her making it to the finals on the Raw side. I don't know the SmackDown side of the bracket, but I absolutely think how could you have a queen of the ring right now without ha- with, with it not being tippy time I mm-hmm. think the fact that they did not pin her in the triple threat at backlash that tells you what you need to know there's a protection to her for a reason and she's over for a reason she's doing her job I think she's definitely involved in the finals for the queen of the ring tough to argue that Jimmy any uh, any thoughts you'd like to add no, I, I, it's tough. Like you said, it is really tough to add to that because, like you said, without knowing the SmackDown side of the brackets, you know, the interesting one that comes to mind, though, is uh, L.A. Knight. Mm-hmm. Because there's another guy who, uh, on the babyface side who's really, really over, and it's going to be difficult to uh, remove him from the tournament in some form or fashion before getting to Gunther because Gunther looks like he's primed for yeah. at least – to be in the finals of that tournament my minimum. And I agree with Justin. I think it is time. It is Tiffy time. Yeah. I think this is Tiffy. I was about to say, this is Tiffy times uh, tournament to lose, but Tiffany Stratton's, I think hers queen of the ring, I think is just perfect cinema for, you know, her mm-hmm. coming out with the Royal look and, and just being obnoxious and she's doing such a good job. I think that has, she has to be the favorite. For the men's king of the ring, I I do look at SmackDown. I think, man, you could add Randy Orton. You could add AJ Styles. You could add Kevin Owens. You got a lot of different folks there that could really shake things up. So that's way too hard to pick now who's going to win that one. But well, I do, think it's great. Question for you, but do, does someone like a Randy Orton need it? I think I, I don't. I He could, I, always, again, be in, the, be in the running, but not. he doesn't need to win it. That's for sure. But, but he could be a great match up along the way yes. though, oh absolutely you know? absolutely uh you know so especially if him and kevin owens run into each other and that friendship is put to the test mm-hmm. uh that could be interesting to see uh i agree with justin too about the the house show matches i'd love to see ray mysterio kofi kingston i think i wish that would be on tv but also the promos are so important even though we we may make fun of them a little bit or say some dragged or whatever weren't as tight as possible the the, the promos are the important part. It's something mm-hmm. Rick Rubin loves pro wrestling. And he had this great quote where he said, if you watch pro wrestling, you'll notice 
they take their commercials during the matches <laughs> because mm-hmm. the promos are what are important. So, uh, yeah, if you have to choose, you put the promo on TV. Uh, it'd, it'd be interesting if they do tape those matches, Justin, to see, uh, not make it as, as overproduced, not make it look like TV, make it look a little grainy, make it look like a, almost almost like a someone there filming it from the audience or something along those lines. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if they film the Kofi versus Ray match, I'm not, ex- I'm not expecting... You know, yeah, no. Rico, yeah. Rico and Stu and all the cameramen be there. <laughs> let, it, let it be one person just filming from ringside and right. Make it feel very like just authentic. Just somebody just capture raw. Footage, I want Rico you know? and Stu to film it. I, I like their. I like their eye. I those like guys. Those guys deserve a day off. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Those guys are awesome. They've been there forever because they know right. they're, they're the best. Rico is a Pittsburgh guy. When he's not doing WWE, he finds himself. He's at Pirate Games and Penguin Games. I'm like, he's dude. running camera. I'm like, dude, take a day off. Uh, yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, take a day off. Just go. It's a, you, 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 a great comment, by the way. It says, yeah. Chelsea Green should win all her matches by luck and win it all. <laughs> that could be a, yeah. a, a, fun, a fun little story to unplay there. 